Welcome back. In this video, we will see the demonstration on how to create a new generic fall. So details of new generic fall are, it's a basic generic and the thickness for the new generic fall will be 350 millimeter. So let's switch to Revit. Let's go back to a new project. I'll select the architectural template, click OK. Now to create a new wall, I'll go to architecture tab. Under build panel, we'll select the wall drop down and then click on wall architectural. Click on the basic wall type selector and then under this, we can select any of the generic wall as a default template. So for me, I will go for generic 200 millimeter. Click on edit type, duplicate, and change the name for the new wall. So I'll change it to three generic 350 millimeter and then click OK. Now to change the thickness of the wall, we go to under construction, edit the structure. Now here you will see right now there are only one layer is present, which is surrounded by core boundary. So just remember core boundaries never count into the layers. It looks like it is a layer, but it is never a layer. It just separates the structure layer with the other layers. So here, as it is a generic wall, the material will be empty. To change the thickness, we click on thickness and then add 350 mm. If you would like to see the preview, you can click on preview. And here you can see the preview of your newly created generic wall. Once done, click OK and done. Your new generic fall with a thickness of 350 millimeter is created. To check, we can zoom and create a new wall of length 4000 mm. To check the thickness, we go to modify. Under measure, select align dimension. I like to check the dimension from one face to other face. So press tab from the keyboard, tab again, and then click. So as you can see, the thickness of this wall is 350 millimeter. 